What's up, YouTube? Friendly Fireside here, your main man, Slam Dunkerton, bringer of fun, friendship, and video games, bringing to you today Firewatch. We'll be visiting the wild wilderness of Wyoming. Oh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay. You see, Julia. Okay. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Good job, Henry. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Well, you know, let's be straightforward with it. You know, just let her know she's pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's, Julia's boyfriend. I have a feeling those rhymes were intended. You got jokes. Got jokes. Okay, so uh, I think this is a big, bit of a tutorial. Pick up the backpack here. Here's the elevator buttons. Door open, but you know, I just want to make sure I covered everything there in the elevator. Some bricks. You know, if I didn't know any better, I think this is uh, not a great setup for our hero Henry. I'm gonna assume this is our truck, or we're just loading our gear onto someone else's truck. We're about to steal. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Okay. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Uh, they're setting us up here for disappointment. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's a bad ass. Let's go with the gentle giant. Uh, because we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Just because it's intimidating doesn't mean it doesn't serve love. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves west wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend child and pet all rolled into one again we're in love we're happy they brought the pet in we're being set up here i know it 1979 you talk out on the deck it's summer 9 30 p.m and the heat still radiates off of the high desert what do you think about kids she asks kids they're not very smart or good at much i'm saying if you and i have some a couple of little idiots that would be pretty good, or one day, why rush? Let's go with that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, Hank, or Henry says. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents get hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Great. So uh, everything's fine and dandy so far. Click the left stick to run. This looks beautiful. Fire danger is high today. Uh, okay. This is uh, probably not the place to be there. But... And I haven't really been given a reason to be here. I guess uh, this is the map. Probably the map of the game. If so, that's pretty big. I thought this was supposed to be like a four, five, six hour game. Anyways, do not forget to check in. Okay, the fireworks, alright. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears, okay? Not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Well, good thing that Henry is an ace when it comes to hiking. The cell shaded uh, style in the art direction is beautiful. 1980, I guess it's a year later. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Okay. She's 
not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Oof. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore her. I'm just gonna read it out. You don't touch each other all night. Maybe they're tired. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. I wonder if the tiny pill's key here. You make some coffee and go to work. You move on with your life. Right. You're upset, you have a bad day, you need to go to work, you grind it out. Julia still likes to draw. This is 1981, so years passed. And I, don't know, I don't know why I was angry in 1980, but hopefully I got over it. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like he man. Because that's probably what I would do. You look awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm assuming this is present day Henry. This is 1980 anymore. Things are red. Or orange. Very intense color here. Um, I think something's going to happen. Can I jump? No. Oh, I can zoom. Eight, eight miles to go. Okay, well, I guess we're jumping. Jumping the log. 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. It's no bueno. Mayhem runs away. May, moo, moo, me. Did the dog? Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker and we beat him up. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by here. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. So convince her not to take a job, or agree if she commutes back and forth. So no, commuting is awful. Convince her not to take a job is, uh, well, I don't know. How does she feel about the job? Is it, is it her dream job? I don't know. Don't have a lot of information there. I know she likes to teach. She likes something about teaching and, and drawing the plants from her work. Let's, uh, let's go with if she commutes. It's kind of a compromise. Might not be the best thing. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard. But she'll do it if you won't move. So, see? Julia's compromising. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder, Colorado. Three times each semester. Okay? Thank you, Julia. Very nice of you. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode with she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she'd happily loaned them to him, being that colleague who borrowed the books two days prior, so something's wrong here. She's found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. So I think in the 50s, uh, you know, maybe your parents or my parents and their parents, it would be one of those things that you just sweep on the rug and never talk about it ever again. But let's talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Ouch. See? That happy life. Shuttered away. A few lines of text. Well, I'm not really sure what happened to the dog. I guess her turn. Mayhem, mayhem is getting older. Okay, so it's still got. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. So, yeah. To be paying for her during her leave. 
Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiot. So out of context, that sounds horrible, but we know in this context that's a charming beautiful thing. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. I'm gonna guess her dad is deceased, and that her dad is probably not at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. This one's sad. 1988. I believe the game takes place in 89, so we're probably close to the start here. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Or nurse. But there's nothing wrong with that. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care. Oh, it sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you are determined to take care of her by yourself very tough so the full care time the full-time care facility you're dealing with people get paid to be there they don't have that love for julia that i do or henry does or Hank, whatever. but there's 24-hour care and they're professionals or try and make it work let's try and make it work maybe that's selfish i don't know but she's my julia again here we are right in back in the forest here. Things aren't as red as before. I do see the frame range on a little bit sometimes. It's going to be more active. I'm going to assume the trail is the way to go. Follow the trail. Oh. Careful. Crossing this uh, log. Oh! have a friend. Uh, okay, he kind of gallops away very oddly. <laughs> it's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Maybe the 24-hour care would have been a good idea. I don't know, but I feel like that would have had its challenges too. The game's setting you up to feel bad. I don't feel bad. I'm trying to make it work. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, so I guess this is me time. Drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. Lots of drinking here. You start going out after you put her to bed. Uh oh. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in, in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. See, I feel like this this chair thing is setting me up for there to be a fire. The game's called Firewatch. And if I go this way, it's gonna be that she sleeps through the fire. So she either sleeps through the fire, or in this case, she gets up and in a panic, she can't get out of her room because there's a chair in front of the bedroom door. I'll go with the sleep. So if I'm right, at least it's the less, in my opinion, the less awful way to go. I'm, I'm on to you, game. I'm on to your tricks. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. Your shoulders, I assume. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. So, he's using Sheila as a therapist here, along with his alcohol. But, you know, uh, I can't judge him. Uh, not in that situation. Haven't been there. Hard to say. 89 stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow up point one zero, and are taken to jail for the night. You consider hiding it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Like point 10 is like double the legal mi limit, maybe, here in Canada. That's a lot. Um, and he tells Susan. So he's got Sheila, and he's got Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. 
Then they tell you Julia is going to come live with them. You don't argue, you say you'll visit soon, a few weeks go by. Summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Firewatch. I guess that's a firewatch shield. Okay, here we are. We've gone through kind of the uh, prologue, made some decisions that might influence our story. Uh, it's time to get going. It's time to get uh, fire watching. Right? That's absolutely right. Again, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Let's enter the tower here. It's just going up to it. Uh, I say that, but I'm going to check for some secrets or whatever, anyways. I'm sure it's the beginning of the game, I'm sure there's nothing too special. Even if there was something um, kind of lying, lying around in the grass, waiting. It has a Telltale Games kind of vibe to it. Um, you know, uh, what I will say is these are the kind of graphics, this kind of art direction that lasts. Uh, you know, I'm sure in five, ten years even, you can go back and play the game. And it won't look too dated. You know, it will just look like, oh, that's the design choice they made. Right? Uh, oh, that was cool. Kind of grab the ledge before going down the stairs, make sure it doesn't bob his head. Big Mr. Henry, he man. Oh. Cool. I see you. Have some uh, stock there. Should be okay for whatever we have that connected to inside. Let's open this door. Turn on the power. I can do that. All right. This looks like a pretty cool place. Hello, Two Forks Tower. It's my radio. Hello. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, I guess that's one way to do it, is to take her approach and just say, hey, you're, there's something wrong with you if you took this job. What are you running away from? You're just going to wait me out on no, this? No, okay, we'll talk. <sighs> fine. No, let's talk. But I'm going to take a second here and have a guess about okay, you. Okay, fine. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. That's not right. a BS reason, that's a Welcome manly to reason to be out in the woods. Many a great novel have been written in the woods, I'm sure. Day one, I kind of regret not asking her, but it's okay, we're going to work the strong, silent approach here. We don't need to spill all our secrets after two days of hiking and dealing with uh, our poor loved Julia. And the uh, the weight that has on our poor hero's conscience. Day one. Out of how many days, I do not know. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight like to get some work? work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. All right. That's her radio call. Let's grab our radio. Hold L2 to activate. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Wow. Ooh. Yeah, sleep. Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. 
Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes, I saw that when I came in. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Yeah, geez. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, let's see. Are those fucking fireworks? No, you're not allowed to use fireworks here. No way, guys, come on. I didn't see which direction. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? I didn't see... Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, I see them. Seriously, are you seeing this? Henry! Yep. I don't know. I'm trying. L2, R2. Uh... Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. Whoa. There you go. That's not legal, right? That wasn't so hard, uh, was it? No. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. No, not beat them up like the last that? guy. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. 1234. An excellent code. We brought our trusty map sack with us. I don't think that's the way that star is. This is the way that is. I get to run, but I can't do it. Well, let's do the thing we always do there on the ledge. On the uh, top part of the floor there. And make our way over. And let's read the map. I can't see anything. Uh, let's zoom in. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't see anything. I guess it's the sh the brightness or the sharpness. Not good. Okay. You know, I think I'm going east. So let's just go east. I do have to go to the um, the box she mentioned. 306. So I'm going south. Oh, going west. Let's go west first. Okay, well, I'm already kind of going that way, so it's all good. Let's load the map, and let's run. Oh, a little stutter there. Come on, PS4, you can do this. Okay, let's go going west. I have no idea if they're predators or anything to be worried about. All I know is that there's a nice, beautiful forest. We saw a deer earlier and galloped away. Ah, signpost. Okay, Jonesy Lake. Are we going the right way? Are we going the right way? Yes, we are going the right way. It's uh, not... It was before Jonesy Lake, obviously. We saw the map. Cache 306. That's a great number. 
Medicine wheel. I don't know what that is. I guess that's us. Okay, I have to go north. Very peaceful, very calm. Just a casual stroll. Hope those guys uh, stay there. They wait there for me to go get this rope out of this box. Then go give them a nice ticket. Oh, we're close. We are close. Follow the path. Assume the path leads me to where I need to go. Nope. East. And there it is, just signing. <laughs> the sun, the sun is shining on it like it's been marked by the gods. All right, let's open this. One, two, three, four. Well, what do you know? It worked. We needed the rope. Let's take the old rope. Now let's deal with these fools setting up fireworks. Anything else we want to grab here? Copy info. Okay. Uh, update our math. Cool. Take this note. Ron Heyman. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout. Put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but life gets when I'm back, Dave. Yeah, you know, it's it's an escape. For sure, I could see this being an escape for people. I'll leave the pine cone there. I will leave the bar and the note there. If that dude ever comes back. So at least it's there. I, I want to lock this. Is that something we can do still? I don't think so. But, you know, oh well. Okay. Deal with the guy setting off fireworks. Yes, that was north. Okay, now let's go north. Lower the map. Just run north. Now I have no idea what secrets I would be looking for, even if I was looking for them. Maybe some I don't know, artifacts from the peoples that used to live here. Looks like these trees on the ground are kind of the invisible walls of the game. We're just running. Running around. Gonna deal with the uh, fireworks guys. Oh man, again, it's it's too bright. Let's head into the shade. Let's, get, let's throw some shade on this map. There you go. Very cool. That's very cool. I can appreciate that. Uh, so I went exactly the wrong way. Don't ever go camping with me. And if you do, make sure you're the one with the compass and the map. If you're with me, it'll be an adventure. To who knows where. Okay, so let's go west and then north. So west is this way. <laughs> Got a little lower the map for now. We'll just jog west. Tough first day. Tough day one. Hope days two and three are not this tough. And day four, if there's a day four. If they hire me that long. Okay. We'll go through here, I guess. And we'll go north. This would be north. Right? I know, I know, so I'm just kidding. I just have to find the path, yeah, okay, this is a path. It's not a path to a bear cave. Clear the map. Blocked trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm, screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. 
you know what that's the that's the workplace today man they just they just pile on responsibilities that you didn't sign up for job descriptions go out the door you know if you want your salary hank you got to do what you got to do you got to be a problem solver i'm sure there's tools for that somewhere or we can go around it i hope i guess not if I had known. Well. Okay, I don't know. I could maybe go back to the, the watchtower. Do I think I'm going to find a, a chainsaw sitting out in the wilderness? Probably not. I do wonder if there's a way around. Them. No, I don't think so. I think that is the first problem presented by the game. Um, let's go back east and uh, let's uh, check to see if we have anything to cut the block path with. So that's fine. Like that's that's a problem people encounter. You know, I like the sassy kind of uh, witty back and forth between Delilah and and our man Hank. Very fun. I can tell that uh, it's going to be a fun game as soon as I can figure out how to chop down uh, this uh, growth in the way. Man, they did a great job. Look at that. Look at that. I, I'm sorry, I have to keep looking at the map. I, I'll, I'll get better at it, I promise. Alright, back. So we'll run up these stairs. Look a little tired. Open the door, and let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, beautiful. Okay, thermos, toolbox, anything in there? Don't need the books, the Patriots. Huh? That strikes it too. Cool. <laughs> we just whipped it. <laughs> Come on, we, well, let's set it, let's set it down. Uh, that's not how you put your books away, man. All right, let's throw it on the bed then. Interesting fellow here. The Patriots. Donald Anderson. Ah, Donald Anderson. It begins, in, it begins and ends deep in Red Russia, where they sent him to spy, where they urged him to kill, and where they learned that he wasn't the Patriot they had hoped for. Sent to plant the poison pill of espionage inside the dinner of the communist bear, Ray Friedman would return to his government's doorstep disgraced and disowned by his keepers. Forced back into civilian life as a simple comptroller, but with the intelligence and super skills bestowed upon him by the United States government, Ray struggles to fade into obscurity. That is, until a janitor named Claudel Williams reveals that he too was there that night in Stalingrad. The night everything went wrong. And the truth was made clear. Can two men ever return to civilian life in possession of information that would destroy both themselves and the presidency? Will the government even let them? Find out this summer. The Patriots. And let's throw that book on the ground too. Why are we here again? That's right. Dish up no. Uh what's gonna what's gonna get us past that uh that issue. Photo Julia. Examine. Good times. Jeez, man. I think I need radio help. Yeah, I think I need to learn how to use the radio. So L2, okay. Let's talk to her. Talk to Delilah. Nope, nope, none of those things. Supplies. Nope. 
I'm sure it's very obvious what I'm supposed to do. Uh, you know, don't tread on me. Um, yeah, I just don't see it. I don't see it, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not going to get halfway through this game. Not at this rate. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, let's, you know, maybe maybe it's another, uh, another box we have to go to. You know? Because uh, I didn't see anything that would help me there. The granola bar in the box that we went to wasn't going to help us or the remote. Medicine wheel, we could try that. Uh, we could keep going to Jonesy Lake. Well, if there's one path, how did those guys get in there? Right? Because look, it's like it's like a little blocked off area. Right? Did they come from the north? Maybe. Mm. All right. Well, deal. Let's deal with these guys. Let's, let's just try it. Let's go back. Maybe let's go south. Let's go south. Let's just see what's down there. All right. Go over the map. Go for a run right here. Go for a jog. Hard day's work. Lots of jogging. You're gonna lose so much weight. You're gonna be ripped. Julia will fall in love with you all over again. Stuck on the rock. Our hero is stuck on the rock. Water. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Let's reply. I was looking for a job like this. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> I do not. Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I don't need any of these things. Well, I might need the toilet paper, but I'm gonna hope that there's some in our uh, office area. What does this note say? Ron really wished the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a you right away. A lonely list there. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I'm sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bar of fees instead. Okay, rum, vodka, I don't know. I'm going to assume. I think Dave... Miss you at the bottom. I think Dave is a whiskey drinker. So I'm going to say that's a whiskey. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. So Dave, Dave and Ron have a thing going on. Could be Brokeback Mountain-esque. Might not be. We don't have to assume anything. Might just be a romance. Uh, and even if it is or isn't, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't judge. Let's go, oh yeah, that's right, we have to go in the shade for the map to be kind of visible. So let's run over here. Let's get well in the shade here. All right. Uh, we can go to Cottonwood Creek. Uh, we can go east. 
although I'm not really sure what's what's there. It doesn't really uh, specify. There is a campsite. I see the little little tiny green triangle. So let's go east. This is east. Let's go there. Mm, probably not the way. Okay. Let's go back. Around the shrubbery. See, getting better already, right? Right? Mm, okay, I'm missing something here. There should be a trail here somewhere, no? Oh, jeez. Right, come on. There's a trail here somewhere. No. It just ends here. Maybe go up here. Come on, you can't jump that. Alright. Well. Our hero's travels in there, I guess. So, interesting. Hmm. Have I told you the game looks beautiful? <laughs> At least that. At least I have that. Oh, wait. Let's, uh, let's maybe try... I thought I could go east there, I thought I could go south that way, but you know, I must be missing something so odd in this right now. Uh, I'm gonna go east, I'm gonna go north, and then east. To the Thorough Fair Trail. Or maybe not, maybe this is the uh, kind of path that everyone takes when they first play this game. Uh, maybe, I don't know. There's stuff right there. Oh. Figure out what pays for. I'm just kidding. I don't know what for. Don't use that. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. I feel an overwhelming sense of determination now. Let's shut this party down. No more fireworks for you kids. So I'm going to go south. Just do this. And see if I can go west or east. Or... Okay. And I'm going south. Looking for a spot to go east at some point. Can't jump the ridge there. Okay. East is to my left. I'm just, I'm kind of just going the way I was coming from. Perhaps it's, perhaps that little kind of area that I'm looking to go to is blocked off. I like just can't go there. I will be up. It's a lot more of this kind of thing. Okay. That's fine. Just resort to random wandering at this point, and uh, maybe I'll stumble upon this uh, 
you know, a hacksaw that I'm looking for. Because anyway, not. It's about adventure and exploration. Maybe I'll find a bear. And I'll fight the bear with my bear hands. Pun intended. Or do I find deer? I don't know. Or berries. But adventure, I'm sure we'll find adventure. Foxes, wolves. Let's go back to medicine. Medicine circle. Medicine wheel. Very cool. Very cool rock formation here. I see you, medicine wheel. I see you. Very cool. Interesting map. Uh, let's go north from here. Okay. Jonesy Lake. Let's just go to Jonesy Lake. If it lets me go there. If not, then I'll go back and we'll, you know, we'll run aimlessly again. Clawed up tree. All right. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Yeah, it's life. Henry. Deal with it. Christ, lady. Attach rope. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's That's a 50 a foot cool cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look like knives, sure okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. Wrong no, the no, no. Good oh. job, Henry, you fell. How are we gonna get back up there? How are we gonna get back up the Widowmaker? Good thing the ring's still on your finger. That's important. Reminds you, Julie. Delilah. I need to report. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Widowmaker got the best of me. Ha. See? What exactly happened? Good writing. My rope snapped coming down the shale Campo slide. You didn't break I like anything, how you incorporated what I No, I think I'll make it. Into the well, be dialogue. careful for Christ's sake. I know it's nothing crazy or new, but it's pretty cool. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. They'd boulder out there, like Boulder, Colorado. Very interesting. I like this this uh, relationship that we're building, though, with Delilah. I feel like this is going to be something that's uh, important. Brood in Wyoming, Red Eagle. we got to clean this up. You know what? I know it's kind of arduous to do this, can by can, but it's important. You know, it's part of our job now, is to you know, help protect the environment. Maybe there's some overarching theme here where I'm supposed to come away after playing this game with a renewed sense of appreciation for nature. Hey, three backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Let's inspect. Screaming wife. Magic missile. Fire. Wheel. Reel. I don't know. Very funny. Confiscate. Let's confiscate these. 
There's like 20 cans of beer here. These guys have been drinking hardcore, man. Oh. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. All right, let's tell them off. Hey, you guys can't be setting fireworks out around here. Are you illiterate or something? It looks like it. What's this? A bra? I'm reporting everything to Lila. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh goodness. A nudie pyromaniac. Uh oh. Uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Cause you're twelve. <laughs> She got you there, man. Another bra. There's he doesn't a, want to report oh. the other bra, just yes. the other pair of the unspeakables, the unmentionables. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground. <laughs> Yeah, man, pick okay. your dog from the ground. I know she said that. Uh, maybe he's just trying to be professional, you know? Like, he doesn't want to, um... Yeah, that's, that was not the professional thing to do. Yeah, put those down. Found them. I don't see them. Full stereo! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! We won't light anymore! Ugh, this guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick! Chelsea, Whoa. it's my boombox! Can we go? Look, let's just run to the other side of the lake or something! Ew, totally. You're They're only offensive out here. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Uh, okay, I guess I did the job. I don't know. This is a weird first day on the job. Find out back to forks. Okay. Trusted map. Uh, it was pretty linear. I just have to kind of. Oh, that's why I fell down the bridge, though. It went fine. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. It's my job, apparently. Let's go back to the uh, campsite and go from there. Pull up the map. Well, they're just having fun, you know. The fireworks were wrong. Don't do that. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Save for later. Yeah, we're gonna see that. Good old Hank. That's probably not very professional. Uh, you know, perhaps I should go back and apologize to the team um, for taking their whiskey. Although they may not be old enough to be drinking that. Okay. I am there. That's the Widowmaker. Can I go around? Thunder Canyon? That sounds safe. Well, let's see what happens if I go back to the, the Widowmaker. Let's just let give it a shot. Let's run. Good job. I reported the meadow already. She knows. There's a meadow. She works here. She's been around. I guess this is the little nigger. I don't know if I can climb. Probably don't have the materials required to do that. Because I came out here with a backpack and a walkie talkie. And some rope that I found in the box. Don't got much else. Probably not the way to. Uh, Okay, well, let's take a look at the map. Let's zoom in here. 
Where am I? I'm in there. Can't go west. Um, oh, I do want to go try going west. It's a little maker. Right? Let's see if I can come uh, up that route. Just to see what it says. Maybe she'll have the line of a suggestion. After I report to her how I felt. Which I did once. Oh, never mind. Yes, I want to go west. I was probably just at the Widowmaker. That was where I tried to attach the rope, but that was on the bottom, I guess. And uh, probably I'll be able to get up on it. Again, lots of lo lots to look at. Very cool. Very cool setup. Uh, this is the way I did go already to scold the teens, uh, but there might be a way around, but like, I, I didn't really examine that too well. So let's go back. Let's give it a shot. Get the log, get the bush. Hopefully the teens kind of put themselves in a more appropriate manner. But again, it's an adventure. It's about the, it's about the journey. That's the best thing. So we're approaching uh, the end of our day. Lighting is reflecting that. Get that orange glow going on. That intense hue. Press X to climb up. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> That's charming the first few times. I don't know if that'll be charming the uh, 100th time that I'm doing that. So far, very good. I like the voice acting. I like the story that's been set up. I like the uh, the choices that have been presented to me and the way they uh, kind of reflect themselves in the game. Uh, the Widowmaker joke. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, yeah, let me know when you get back to your lookout. You best keep that to a minimum. I don't play that nonsense. I don't know why she held it to admit that. A nearby storm, that's kind of cool. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense <laughs> of humor. Oh, come on, we gotta reply to that. Ugh! What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? <laughs> Oh my god, lady! The the arc of our budding friendship. Ah, arc of lightning. Oh. oh I'm just gonna let her have that one. She didn't say anything about that? Are you in charge? I guess I might have missed it. Oh well. That's a that's part of our, our banter. That's part of our dynamic is I'm gonna I'm gonna hear her puns and I'm gonna play them off like I don't like them, but I really like them secretly. Copy this map and put here. Draw this down. This be What's this? Defend our frontier. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Let's grab a flashlight. Someone else might need it, but hey, we need it too. Ah! Oh, what do you think? It works. Great. Jeez, man. 
this a horn or an antler or whatever? Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a Today bone. Antler. antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. So it's an antler. Examine the antler now. We thought we were examining a bone. Or the, uh, the horn. But we know better. Drop from there. Perfect. Very cool. I did not know that. But now you and I both learn something. You usually do learn stuff at the front far side. Especially when you're hanging with your hands slammed on What's, What's in this cave down here? Gold. In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty what? dangerous. What? So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Hello! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service <laughs> office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, oh. so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. That is a secret. Ah, one. damn. You find those yeah, keys Yeah, but maybe here? you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Go in that area. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Aw, oh, Hank. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. That's funny. Good for you, Delilah. That's a great joke. That's right, we're outside. And sometimes there will be people there. And you might not go home. And they might come to the Let's see. Who the fuck? <sighs> At first I thought she was going to be like, oh, it's haunted. Did you see that? It was ex to mantle. What's the difference between mantling? Or to, uh, the verb mantle and the verb to climb. <laughs> Every other time. Why, why was it too bad? It's game of learning, apparently. So I'm sure I'll learn what the mantle is when I um, stop this video and go Google it. Or you can Google it now. Be ahead of me on that game. Good climber, though. It's, it's, got his, uh, it's getting a good climber. And the stars look awesome. Look at that. Fantastic. Trail uh, for a reason. Good reason. Uh, take a break. You learn. Uh, uh, Tough it out. Damn it. Happen. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Yeah, I found it like that. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Good job. Good man. Hard day's work. Learned it. If not for those fireworks, would he have done anything today? Probably not. Well, there probably is more to that. To that kind of like she's there. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Well, now that that's been said, we can just urinate wherever we want. Ah. Okay, the thing, just drop it and just it in. So this and generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. You guys are too well. I like the outhouse in the rustic, I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same.
Alright, we're here. I guess that's day one. I don't know how many days. Oh, typewriter. I wasn't there before. Uh... What can I do for you? Oh. Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. So then, see, there's something with that guy. Sketchy McSketcherson up there. Yeah, there's those teens, those no good teens. <gasps> Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. It's probably me. Just putting things back by dropping them. Oh, there you go. That actually made sense. Oh, I could pick up the lamp before I turn it on. Uh, that would be something to consider as well. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Mm. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Yeah, like that one time. Okay, tough moment. guy. Day two. I will bet five bucks on that list of everyone that's ever been to this park is Julia. Because that would be entertaining. That would make for an exciting turn of events. And we don't know that that was a guy flashing the light at us. That could have been a female. We just saw a silhouette. It's important not to assume these things. So, day one. We've bonded. You know, Delilah, she likes to drink, whatever. That's okay. We don't judge. We like to write. Wake up! We stole that bottle of whiskey from those kids. They didn't need it. They're teenagers. Hey, wake up! Yes, I'm here. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working call. either. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, yeah of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. I can Thanks, do Hank. So, my stuff's here. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. It's close, but he's right. It thanks and Hank does not rhyme. I don't. So it's not close. I was wrong. I was just trying to cut off from that. She's my girl. We have a thing. All right, let's go back to the dreaded canyon where we saw our last man. I believe it was uh, right here. And the it works great. Fantastic. Oh, it's the tree Turn it over. Interesting. Should we report that? Yeah, let's report that. It takes some light to do that. Where is the fallen tree? Here. Come on. I saw it. I saw it. There we go. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. That's crazy. I know.
know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. What? If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. This summer, when the Patriots come out. Sign that we knocked over. You now, like people, the hikers, have been going up, up and down these rocks and falling and getting hurt because the sign was never on. Oh, you do wake up here. Can you see the happens. communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Okay, we'll do. Bear or something point. Good to know. Somewhere up there is a lot of Lovely. It's a... Uh, right now it's a, it's a blossom. Yeah. So the map is big. We can admit that. Not that it's something to be admitted. I think it's like a begrudging admission. Like, oh, they did it. They made a big map. I didn't think they could, but they did it. The map is big, but it seems like you know. Oh, it's actually being pretty damn cold out here. Because there's Roger that. that's in the way. Warms up fast. Or the mornings are cold in Boulder, you know, though, right? The rope and you can't yeah, pull back they are. That way. What did you get up to down there? Until I mean, it a bit of what's life like? Thing, but you know what? Maybe it opens up later. I don't know. Something I just spend there. a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. I'm just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Doesn't work. Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hmm. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Yeah, what was who that was that? Of? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. She stepped away. Well, you know what? She could be annoyed because we're on to something. That's one possibility. Is she mad because she got caught? And there's more to this than meets the eye. Like that guy with the flashlight or a girl? He's a transformer. More than meets the eye. No. For sure. I don't think that it was some I caught her in some innocent call that had nothing to do with me. I think we caught her. We got her, and we brought it up. We didn't ignore it. We didn't swipe it under the rug. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Alright, let's follow it up. Look at us not using the compass every two seconds. Very proud. Yeah, we're following. There might be a box over here. Oh, utility pole. 
So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just yeah. seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. I don't need to be annoying, but... Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. We have to open Um... This cabin, I'm going to guess, was also an outlook spot. And you know how we're talking about I think something else happened. And I think there's something sketchy going on here with our dude with the flashlight. And I think what, we're calling, what she was referring to is us not knowing the truth. Yeah, let's examine the destroyed guitar. One string. That's the E string. No, it's the A string. Okay. Uh, not in great shape. Hold back. Just throw it. Gravitates. Burn bed. Looks like it might have been the toolkit. Some sort. Old stove. Could have been the stove. Could be, maybe we're just being trained. point was that it could have been the stove that just burned down and there was no pyromaniac hijinks. But look, this was for sure. Look at it. Oh, that's awesome. An awesome sound. Very cool. Okay, but let's continue our utility pool adventure. If one, two, three, four doesn't work here, then something is up. veteran. Okay. So there was the Korean War. Let's put this back and let's, oh, let's report it. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean War vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Yeah. Shell shock. Post-traumatic stress disorder. For sure. Very important. It's one of those things where you probably don't understand it, unless you've ever had it. I've never had it, as, as you probably could guess, but I'm sure it's an awful thing. Uh, respect your veteran. No, seriously. <laughs> Alright, let's follow these uh, utility poles. So far, so good. I don't see any cuts. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, we'll go... I we're going down at this point, but... I don't think this is... Uh, the wrong way to go. Let's use our eyes. Let's see, there's any cracks. Oh, don't see anything wrong. I uh, might be going the wrong way, but that's what it is. Yeah, I'm for sure going the wrong way. So we can, I think I'm supposed to be going uphill. I'm trying to grab it to the away from the uh, control at this point. Let's try it though. Like uh, this is, uh, I'm having fun. Uh, I think it's well written so far. Uh, I think there's a lot to uh, kind of go through in the story. Like there's a lot of question marks that are actually relatively interesting. So like I'm, I'm interested to see where these things go. And uh, you know, the man with the light was he? Wasn't he? Was he just a guy that's just hiking, and he just happened to be there. Probably not. You know, it just so happens that a guy was beside my uh, Overwatch um, tower that had been uh, <laughs> attacked. And like most people, I think would like communicate with you, like hello. Right? You throw it, you throw it a hello, just to see like what's going on. See, so, yeah, look, nothing's wrong. I can see, I can see the pole. It's all good. It's all gravy. Um, I, you know. Can I report that? Can I just tell her? Look, I can see pretty far. 
I can see pretty far here. I can see that the pole, the poles and the wires are connected as they should be. That's another. No. Oh. That's something there. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Huh. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. No. I'm more worried about deranged lunatics. Forest fires? Uh, it's not the, the bear's job. I'm just kidding. This is just a straight up invisible wall here. Like, there is no reason. Like, I could see you being stopped over there or over here, but no, this is just straight up, yo, you can't go this way. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Inspect the line up close. Okay, so we're supposed to go up there, I guess. Um, don't think it's fine, I think. Let's check the box. Any goods. Maybe a new hat. Since we're all about hats now. Yeah, I missed that up there. What's that? Let's jot down some info here. We saw that. Uh, Dave. Oh, Dave and Ron. 86, okay, so this note's a couple years old. Hey, yo, I got your note, I guess. Got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out by the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co workers, you know? Amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with this life stuff. You get it. Later on. Ron. I should be taking these notes because I guarantee you it's a trophy, and I did not look at the trophies. But such is life. Okay, let's take this one. Oh, great. I could, I could have read it a lot easier. It's easier than that. These pine cones. Oh, man. Okay, well, it is what it is. Well, we'll keep notes moving forward. We probably won't get that trophy, but, you know, there's not a lot of people at that right now. Long drop down. This is gonna hurt. Nope. Perfectly fine. No issues. <laughs> not a problem for, for old uh, Hank here. Hank the tank. I bet you there's a trophy for cleaning up all the beer cans. Friend of Nature should be the name of that trophy. Another long drop. Whoa. One of these is going to hurt at one point. I'm, gonna be, I'm, be, I'm going to be being chased by a, a madman with a chainsaw. I'm going to do a long drop down and I'm going to hurt my ankle. I'm calling it. Calling my shot. That might be like day four, day five. Go to hell. Wow. We have a jerk here. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a a message. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't 
don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I don't know if that's a greatest plan. Mess up their camp. That's kind of juvenile. Um, I don't think it was on anyways, but... I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do in his, in his shoes. Okay, did you guys do this? No. Uh, okay, well, enjoy the rest of your stay in the park. Um, man, flashlight, we don't know where he is. He probably doesn't, have, he probably doesn't stay in the camp, campsite, so he stays where he wants. His sketchy moves. Let's go to the supply drop, just because I can. I, I, I'm going to explore a bit. Um, it, it might even be the way I'm supposed to be going. I'm guilty of not listening that well. Uh, okay, what does the sign say? Prefer? That's, uh, our lady. Don't do that. That's me. Okay, let's go here. Let's go this way. It's a drop. Yep. One thing I was going to mention is we covered a lot of the map. Like, uh, I started there, and I somehow made my way all the way here. Uh, that's, you know, that's a good chunk of the map. I and mean, I've been as far south as uh, the 307 box by Ruby River. So that's like maybe 40% of the map. 35, 40. Um, I'm sure there's a lot to see you know, between. Um, and even some of the spots I've already been. I'm sure there's a lot more to see, but I'm surprised. One of these, one, two, three, four, is not going to work. And then that's going to trigger something. It's going to be like, what is going on? Wow. It's be like four, three, two, one. All right, absolutely nothing. Great. And we don't lock up. That's one thing I noticed. Not very responsible. So this is probably the supply drop. Yes. Let's go back the way once we came and try the other way. Or rather, this one. That's what I want. Not the way the drones are like. Oh, ah, cool. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? <laughs> yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell That's him. Fine. Great Sorry, voice Hank. Hank. No dice. Man. That was awesome. That's some great writing, great voice acting. But that was kind of genuine. Thing. I mean that. Not my typical, not kind of half sarcastic uh, way. I mean that in general fashion. All right, so let's go the other way. Let's check what's going on here. What's this? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. A long time ago. A real long time ago. Let's shake this tree or something. How do we get this down? Got it. I'm just gonna hit R2 and see if anything happened. Oh, I took a photo of myself. So now photo mode. 
I assume he's been well, I am this is flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Thank you, wait, Brian. Wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? It's funny, she is my only company in this game. And I go silent because the whole point of this game is really the banter and to listen and the, and the experience of, you know, the two characters uh, learning about each other and, and, the, and what, what's, what went on here for real. Um, you know, what happened to this kid. Um, so I, I sit and let you, let you listen and whatever, because that's really the point of the game. Um, so two things, the camera. So I heard a lot about this... Uh, this mode where you can kind of take photos and they'll actually print uh, in real time, I guess, if you have a printer set up um, to, uh, to, so to print screenshots of the game because I guess it's so picturesque that they thought that that might be something people would like to do. And that's awesome because, you know, they're thinking ahead, you know, they're trying new things with the game, obviously, um, and it works. I, I've heard, you know, that people like that. Uh, Fossilized Claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Aha! Let's examine this. Okay. This could be a claw. Yep. Drop. Oh, come on, man. Pick up. Drop. There you go. That's what I want to do. Okay. So yeah, two things. Uh, this, the print screen mode, for lack of me knowing what it's actually hey, going to do. Hey, sorry about snapping at you okay. earlier. Um, I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker what? for 15 years. What? Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. Oh, let's go. Then. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Very cool. So, going back to our previous little thing there, one was the print mode, two was the the rope so now i have enough rope like he said uh, you dropped the fact that he thinks he has enough rope to leave the rope on and all those um repel spots so 
it's kind of like metroidvania s now i've opened up new spots again right like i can go back and i can leave rope on the Widowmaker or whatever from this burned section of forest i have no idea where to go their trail is pretty cold at this point hmm you're out by mule point no one would camp out in the fireweed well i want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me my pleasure <sighs> okay we know these young women are sloppy they must have left some sort of trail so that's interesting too, because who would, like a pyromaniac might want to camp out around here, you know, near his work, or his handiwork. Uh, so, and she's kind of steering it in the direction towards the girls, you know, the guy was just, oh, a guy you met. Oh, you see people, because you work outside. I mean, you kind of dismissed it. Why not, why can't it be the guy? I'm having a hell of a right? time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? Yeah, Flapjack. It's beautiful! Great, so we learned new work. Uh, going back to what we were talking about, yeah, she's kind of guiding away from it being the guy that we saw in the mysterious figure. It's the teens. Interesting. Um, and another thing was, when I was holding L2, and I had the series of replies available, um, I didn't have to answer right away. I could, I could let the bar go. I could let the bar start to expire and listen to her story about her Aunt Kathy before I dropped the fact that I'm married, right? Very cool, like the, the context change to the conversation a bit there. I wonder if I would've got the same reaction from her when I told her that I'm married, but, you know, I probably would, I probably would, but it does change the story, like it does change kind of the context and the back and forth, and, and at least in the player's mind. <laughs> right, I could've said I'm married right away, I wouldn't have heard the first story, but uh, her aunt who got cheated on me, traveled the world with artists. What does she have? She's got oh, Alzheimer's, right too, right? She like, right. um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand for you anyway everything she worked for was taken away and that was it yeah I'm sorry to be such a downer don't 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 even I'm happy to listen and you know we'll try to have some fun this summer I promise yeah she went right to that I guess I kind of opened that door a bit like I left it creaking and she kind of just went for the last question um yeah, so I thought that was cool. How uh, the game let me kind of just sit on my response for a bit. And we're back here. So I must have done it. Uh, some of the themes are cool. So I can see, like, you know, these are troubled people. Uh, it's very real. Um, you know, people's lives, I guess. Like Henry's, in, in his case, in the 70s, Raw Fine Danny was happy. He had to love his life. He had the green, uh, beautiful German Shepherd. Uh, intimidating but soft eyed. I assume he thought the rest of his life was going to be great, uh, even with the job and all that, you know, they're making it work. Uh, and these things happen, like, these things happen in the real world. You see Delilah, she keeps dropping the st stockbroker, banker, uh, stock cheating stockbroker, banker, who you would call Flapjack at the bar. Why? I want to know. Were you hurt, Delilah? Hey there, Delilah, were you hurt by a banker?
is Very, very cool. You know, we're at the point where first person shooters, open world, slash sandbox games have been done to death. And I think people can get uh, fatigued with the same type of games. Coming from a guy who's very excited for Street Fighter 4, or Street Fighter 5, rather, which is a 2D I don't know if I can game. But I digress. Anyways, this has been the Friendly Fireside. This is your main man, Slam Duckerton. We'll resume our playthrough of Firewatch at a later date where we'll discuss Hank's adventure, his love of life, Julia, his great dog, Mayhem, and Delilah, our future beau, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll actually take that cart over and meet her one day. Maybe you'll play the whole game and you'll never meet Delilah. We'll find out. Thank you very much for watching your man, Slam Dunkerton here, the King of Sting, the Master of Disaster, the County of Monte Cristo. I want you to slam on the like on the subscribe button rather, below. Follow us on Instagram, the Friendly Fireside. Follow us on Twitter, Friend Fireside. Tweet us. Tell us how you think about what you think about our games. Tell us what you want to see. I want to stream for you. I want to capture for you. I want to be there for you. Time's a thick and thick. Your man, Friend Dunkerton. Have a good night. And we'll catch you in part two.